In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to absolutely glitch out your opponent whenever they start deep pathing their corners in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And one of the ways we do that is through sharing videos with you every day on our YouTube channel that can help you improve on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. And so if you wanna get access to those videos, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We post videos on here every single day that can help you get better at this game. And in today's video, we're talking about the gun Y off trips pads. It's also further, um, it's also referred to as the U-Trips from the New England Patriots playbook. It's a very glitchy little offense. This play pass slot out is a phenomenal little passing concept. And if you have not already um, purchased my Nick, my U-Trips uh, offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. We actually walk you step by step through how I run the U-Trips offense, and how I really developed, I think, one of the better U-Trips offenses in the Madden community. And so if you wanna get that ebook, you can get that in the description. It's got written setups, video breakdowns, and film study analysis that can help you but as far as this setup here literally all we're going to do is we're just going to wheel the running back and we're going to motion the r1 receiver to the right or to the left and what you're going to see is basically if they're in a deep half you're going to see this little glitch happen at the snap of the ball and it's going to basically leave this wide open uh, dot over the top for an absolute laser this is specifically if your opponent is deep halfing so if they're running stock cover three we're going to talk about how to deal with that in just a moment but if they're deep halfing, you will bomb the crap out of this. So again, you're just motioning this guy just like this, very simple. And then you're just gonna snap. It really doesn't matter where you snap him. Um, you see there, I mean, he just glitches out, just completely, um, you know, kind of dumbs out. And as you can see, we've got an automatic laser over the top. This is specifically for when your opponent is deep halfing. This also is very good against Tampa 2. So let me talk about that just briefly. If your opponent's running a lot of cover two or Tampa 2 style of defense, what you want to do is at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that you're going to get a little bit of a free release and you're just going to pass him to the left. Um, and as you can see right there, you need to kind of click on to him to make that catch, make it a little bit easier on yourself. But you should be able to just completely torch cover two style defenses from this offense. Um, I think this offense is super good against, you know, kind of some of that. And again, you'll see right here, I mean, right there, just absolute laser over the top, you know, against that. And as you can see, I mean, that was cover two, and we literally just glitched out the safety altogether, and there was just nothing they could do. So, again, you know, this, this offense is super, super effective against things like cover two or cover two invert, which is really what people, a lot of people do out of Mike Blitz 3. And so, you know, it's a super simple setup. I mean, there's really nothing to it. But as you can see here, if he's even, he's leaving, automatic laser over the top. The reason that wheel route is so effective is it helps to pull safeties in different directions. Wheel routes are underrated as, you know, as used to pull different zones and things like that. So as you can see, you know, we're able to do that. Now, real quick on cover four drop. I wanna talk about cover four drop and really where the glitch comes in is where you snap this R1 receiver. Depending on where you snap him, it will change how the defense will play this. Um, you'll see right here, see how that square corner gets all the way back on him and he plays him. What you're gonna notice is as I try different motion snaps within this, that it's actually going to change how the defense is going to play. So. Another example is if I snap him right here, like literally right here, and you see right here again, that, that time the guy went with him, right? So, you know, that didn't really help my case, but you see that it does change a little bit. Based off where you snap him, it actually changes how the defense plays. So another example is if I snap him, you know, like right there, you're gonna see, again, a little bit of a different style, you know, right there, okay, he's still going with him, but I can hit my tight end over the top, just like that right there. I can do that over any zone drop in the game. No zone drop is gonna be able to keep up with that. If you have a, a, a tight end that has like a, like a matchup nightmare or, you know, some kind of route running ability, that's gonna help a little bit. And I want to show just briefly here what you, what happens if you motion this guy all the way to the left, kind of let him set his feet a little bit. Um, you see here, okay, they did a good job of getting back there on that. So good job by the defense. They ended up getting me on that for the cover four. But you see cover two and cover three were able to handle. Um, now real quick, I want to talk about like just a standard cover three, what happens against that. Most people, uh, when they face this formation, will never dare to run cover three on it because it kills cover three. There's easy ways that you can absolutely just obliterate cover three. 
But if they run cover three, you're gonna see here that this X guy is gonna kind of get up here and he's gonna get in a very you know vulnerable position of the defense for an easy dot over the top. Now, what about man coverage? Um, this actually is fairly decent against man coverage because most people are gonna run some type of like cover two man or something like that. If you feel like it might be man coverage, you really wanna snap kind of right there and you can sometimes get this over the top. I didn't get it right there, but sometimes, if you, especially if you have like a fast receiver, if you're in mud or something and you've got a fast receiver and they're shading, you know, underneath and things like that, this can actually work well against man coverage. You know, you just have to be kind of, you know, a little bit, um, this, you know, kind of wise about where you snap it. And, and unfortunately, we're not able to get it here. But the other thing that you're going to notice is, let's say, for example, a lot of people like to play man coverage like this. What they'll do is they'll put, they'll do something like that right there, right? A lot of people do that. And when you do that against this specific setup, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem. You see right there, automatic dot over the top, nice little easy laser over the top of that man cover. So that's just one route into play. Um, the other routes are super effective too. I haven't talked really much about this R1 route. This R1 route, when he cuts to the inside, he's gonna beat man, he's gonna beat zone. He's your check down read. If you have playmaker, um, he's a good guy to be able to put your playmaker uh, ability on. He's somebody that you can consistently trust and rely on within your play. You're gonna have a lot of success with that. Um, again, if you wanted to do things like put your tight end on a flat, it's just gonna continue to help with the clear out process. You're gonna see, we're gonna really space the field well, and then we've got this nice little post route coming in behind it. This offense is super effective and super glitchy. I would recommend running this play specifically against cover three invert where they have like deep halves on their safeties. Cover two, I would definitely recommend it. Match coverage it does okay against, but then if they're running a lot of cover four or they're running a lot of stock cover three, then you can use some of the other plays in our offensive guide within this formation to be able to absolutely obliterate it. Our ebook on this literally walks you through how to have one play touchdowns against every coverage the defense can do, how to dot up any defense that you're gonna see. If you can consistently read the defense, you're gonna be successful with this offense. This offense has all of the routes in it, and we show you exactly how to run it in my U-Trips Offensive Guide. If you wanna get that guide, you can get that in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later on stream at 8 p.m. Eastern time, where we play subscribers every single day. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. And again, if you wanna get the guide, you can get that in the description for just $10.